Welcome to another SEO webinar through Schweiki Media. I'm Alicia Lawrence from WebpageFS, a full service internet marketing agency. Today we'll be starting a new series. We'll be interviewing experts right here at WebpageFX. And joining us first is Katie Kelly, an internet marketing specialist here. He'll be talking about the best practices for PPC. For those who aren't familiar with the term PPC or pay per click ads, it's when a company pays a fee every time their ad is clicked. You've probably seen these on the top or right hand corner of Google's search engine, but they're also on a variety of other sites. Thanks so much for joining us, Thanks Katie. Thanks for having me. Now, for our viewers who are new to PPC, what would be your advice when trying to determine whether they should spend money on PPC ads or whether they should invest in ranking their site organically in the search engine? That's a great question, Alicia. I think that, uh, you know, that's really going to depend on what the goals of the business are. PPC and SEO can work really well when combined, and studies actually show that whenever your ad and your organic listing appear on the same page, your overall click-through rate to the website actually increases. Uh, so that's really neat. But if your business is in a position where you can only invest in one or the other, I'd say use this general rule of thumb. If your business is just starting out, invest in paid search. That's going to allow you to drive results quicker and build up your revenue. You can then use that extra revenue to invest in search engine optimization. On the flip side, if your business is more established online and you have a really strong website, you could create really great content for it and get rankings uh, in a shorter period of time. What are the different types of PPC ads? There's a few different types. There are text ads, product listing ads, image ads, and video ads essentially. And the different ad that you use is going to depend on which network you're advertising in. And in the search network, which is the most common, you can use text ads and product listing ads. And then in the display network, you can use all of the different ad types except for the product listing ads. What are some of your best practices when creating PPC campaigns? There's a lot to keep in mind whenever you're creating or optimizing a PPC campaign. The first being that after you've selected your keywords, you wanna make sure you're putting them into groups that really allow you to write relevant ad text for them. After you've launched your campaign, it's important to monitor those keywords, see what's working for you, what's not working for you, and then continue also to build out those keyword lists so that you're not missing any new opportunities. And then whenever you're monitoring those keywords, keep an eye on the bids as well so that you can adjust what you're paying for clicks based on the performance. That's going to really allow you to maximize the ROI that you're getting from your PPC campaign. And those last two really speak to the importance of maintaining your paid search campaign. We have a client, Applebomb Inc., who I think is a really great example of this. They came to us with a running PPC campaign and it wasn't being maintained too much, but we helped them uh, refine it, optimize it month after month, and we've had really great results with it to the point now where they're spending half the amount of money they were before, but they're getting double the results. So really there's power in maintaining. That's a great example, Katie. Are there any tips or tricks for creating PPC campaigns that have the most conversions from that first click on the ad to purchasing a product? Well, the tricks really come to what you're going to do with your landing page. And the first is making sure you have a really strong call to action on that landing page. When the user gets there, they should know immediately what their next step should be. And that might be a form to fill out, it might be a phone number to call, or a download, some other action that you want them to complete. You also want to put as much of your important messaging, information, user benefits to your products and services above the fold as you can. And then lastly, it's important to make sure that your message is consistent from the ad to the landing page. If you use those tricks, uh, you'll be on the right path to driving conversions. And for our last question, how does keyword research differ from doing keywords for PPC campaigns and finding keywords to rank your site organically in the search engine? On a large scale, the theme of the keywords isn't going to change too much. But the biggest thing to keep in mind with pay, uh, PPC keyword research is that you are going to be paying for every single click that happens on your ad. And that corresponds directly to the keywords that you're selecting. So with paid search, 
if you're just starting out or if you have a, a lower budget, it's really important to pick keywords that indicate a user is closer to making a transaction. So to give you an example of that, if uh, I run a company that is an interior design magazine, instead of bidding on a word like interior design ideas, which could cost me a lot of money and not really drive conversions, I'd want to bid on a term more like interior design magazine subscription. On the other hand, with SEO, you aren't having to pay for every click. It's essentially free clicks. So with SEO, you have that opportunity to go after some more of those informational type queries, as well as more competitive terms that uh, could cost you potentially a lot of money in, P in PPC. Great, now do you have any ending advice that you give our viewers? Yeah, I'd love to leave you with a story that I think really shows the power of PPC. We have a client, CJ Pony Parts, who came to us with little online experience, but they came to us with the mindset that they were willing to try new things and make that investment in paid search. We've had a really great success working with them, and it's been so successful to the point that they've been on Pennsylvania's list for fastest growing small businesses the past couple years now, something that we're really proud of. So overall, don't be afraid to try new things, uh, make that investment, see if it works for you. I think that same success story is out there for a lot of businesses. Well, thank you so much again for joining us for our first interview. Thanks for having me.